climate change is probably the most serious problem ever, as far as I'm concerned. Possibly the complete extinction of the large majority of things on this planet. I just think it's really important that everybody knows about it and the fact that it's real. Well, I just had a newborn son a couple of months ago, so I want him to grow up in a world that's not affected by disasters climate change. What am, what am I doing about climate change? Heaps. Um, I'm a vegetarian, um, I compost my organic recycle my products, I offset my flights when I have to fly, I made sure my electricity... How do you offset your flights? Um, well, I went to Kenya earlier this year and we planted the trees in the um, Kibera forest with the um, Green Belt movement. Um, yeah, I made sure my electricity provider only uses 100% renewable electricity. Um, made sure my light bulbs are CFLs. At home, I've got low energy light bulbs throughout the house and I've got a plan to um, insulate my loft more even though it's insulated it already and I've done under the, under the um, floorboards is all insulated and I bought the lowest energy and lowest water consumption washing machine I could find and the lowest energy fridge I could find in New Zealand. I have a very small car with a very small engine and I bike to work and go home. <laughs> and I'm working in a very successful uh, university um, club, Gecko, and what we're doing is we're trying to, we're aiming to make the Victoria University the first carbon neutral university, and we're organising the Climate Action Festival um, to coincide with the International Day of Action on Climate Change, December 8th. It's just a metal case with um, a car stereo and two speakers in it. Uh, it's got a transformer so you can plug it up to the wall and charge the battery up if you've got mains power. Um, otherwise I carry around a solar panel and it charges up the battery as well. Um, the battery would last probably about two hours fully charged, um, but if it's a day like this with a solar panel we could probably extend it to about three hours. But what makes it? Passive solar heating and, and really warm. Well, what, what we've done is the architects have moved a house, we've actually moved a, an old house that was going to get demolished, put it on a site, put it north facing, and then we designed the house so we had more windows on the northern side, and then we double glazed all those windows, and then we've done it two stories. On the upper story, we've got a pitched ceiling, so when the air heats up, it hits the ceiling and it comes back and creates an airflow throughout the house as well. So what we've done is, is done all that, um, we've moved in and it's really warm yeah. and it's, we don't use any heating, we haven't needed to yet uh, and one of the great things was when we moved in about uh, two or three months ago we noticed that it was nice and warm inside, you look out the window and you see all these people with their fires on. I'm an Anglican priest so I work at the parish of St James in Lower Hutt and um, yeah, one of my passions is for the earth and for the people of the earth, so um, that's why. So, just for people watching, can you tell us a bit about what you think the relationship with Christianity and climate change is? Yeah. Okay, well, right at the beginning of the, the Old Testament story, we've got in the story of Genesis, you know, it's the, the Hebrew story of God creating all that is, and one of the things that happens in the midst of that creation story is God telling the humans who are created, that it's their job to look after all of the rest of the creation. So for us as Christians, it's, it's kind of paramount to really, that um, part of the living the gospel and being people of Christ is to care for the people around us, but also to care for creation. So you think Christians should also really take this on board and do those practical things as well and that it's totally conducive to... Absolutely. I mean, the Anglican Church, which I'm a part of, has a, internationally has a five-point um, mission statement which 
includes um, caring for the integrity of creation. So that's seen as part of the, the basic thing of what we're about, along with you know sharing the gospel and, and nurturing believers and, and working for the change of just structures and caring for people who have social needs. So you know, there's all of that stuff as part of the gospel as well as looking after the youth. So it should be part of the basic task that we have in our daily living. Yeah, so I mean, the sun's there every year, so it's awesome to be using, and yep. um, hopefully, more people can do that.